Interior, Allie's apartment. Night. Food takeout containers and empty bottles litter the dank studio apartment. Laundry piled on the couch. Weak old dirty dishes picked clean by the grateful mice and cockroaches. Plastered across one wall of her apartment are dozens of printed news articles with headlines like two dead after mysterious home invasion. There are also research articles and several archaic symbols pinned to the wall. One symbol in particular is circled in red ink over and over and is comprised of two lines that look like a two-finger salute crossed by a single diagonal line an obvious and evil corruption of a crucifix. Asleep in her bed, Allie's hair is longer now, her face aged more by sorrow than time, and dappled with the sweat of a nightmare pushing its way to the surface, until, suddenly, she wakes. No, don't! Leave her alone! Allie sits up, breathing heavily. She looks around at her shithole apartment. The small, street-level window above her bed is pelted by rain. Allie grabs the plastic bottle of bourbon next to her bed and takes a swig. She stands and walks to her grimy bathroom. The cold water does little to rouse her as she splashes it on her cheeks, hesitating to face her reflection in the mirror. The sound comes from outside her bathroom and has her attention for a brief moment. Finally, a self-loathing look over to the mirror. It's impossible not to follow the sound out of the bathroom. She steps out into the small apartment. She looks around. Nothing unusual. We get another eyeful of the articles and symbols Allie has posted to her wall. But there is something. Another creaking sound and she spins. Behind her now, Obscured by shadows, the figure of a young girl, her face fully hidden in the murky night, moves toward her. Allie is unaware of the approaching specter. <coughs> Allie pivots and the figure is gone. She sits down on the bed and numbly grabs her cell phone. Hello? Allie? Is that you? Oh my god. Allie, they said he killed them and... He just couldn't have. He couldn't have. It doesn't make any sense. Who is... My Jeremiah has never done anything like this. He was a good man. A father. How could he have suddenly killed three people? And himself. Allie, they said... Oh, God. They said he cut off his own head. Allie, it's just not possible. I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Allie racks her booze-fogged brain. This is Allie, right? Allie Robichaud? Yeah. This is Maybell. Maybelle Lilith, your second cousin from Louisiana. Don't you remember me? The fog isn't clearing. 